Hey guys, this is Jeb Sherrill once again with The Chair System, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately over stickers and whether they're a good idea to put on your guitar. And I guess I've been getting that question a lot because I use stickers in the video. So uh, let me just talk about that a little bit. Number one, I originally tried some stickers for my wife when I was trying to uh, get her into classical guitar. And so I bought these stickers and they went all up and down the neck and they were the kind, they were black and they showed every single note or uh, every single note and, 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 and all the sharps, all the flats and everything. And to be honest with you, it was just too much information. It, it, it made the neck look completely different. I couldn't associate it with a normal neck looking at, at, at the notes. And I, I, for, for me, it just did not work to, well. Now, I don't know that it won't work well for you, and maybe that's the ultimate thing I can just say about the stickers is that it very much depends on how your brain works. But generally speaking, I, I, I don't think they were a great idea. Uh, now, I will show you, uh, originally, instead of stickers, my first idea was these strips. I made these strips so that they had the chair system on them because they weren't showing every single note and they're only showing the notes from one key, then you can take that and you can apply it to every other key instead of just having all the information and, you know, kind of an information overload where you're, you know, it's too busy for your brain to look at. And uh, first you could slide it underneath your fretboard and kind of see how it looked. And then what you would do is you'd lay it in front of you just like this. And because it looks just like your fretboard right in front of you with the same orientation, you would look at this while you were playing and it would just sort of teach you the pattern. Uh, I started having these made for the videos just so that this could show you very visually how the chair system worked. Now, I don't personally suggest having this on your main guitar. Number one, it's going to limit you to one key. And number two, when you take them off, then of course you're not going to know where any of the notes are. And that's going to mess with you. Uh, if anything, if you do want to use stickers like this on your guitar or you want to mark your guitar or do something like that, I strongly suggest buying a cheap guitar, which is exactly what this is. I think, I, I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was 200 maybe, or a little under 200 at the time. Uh, and use it as a, as a second guitar, as just a, a practice guitar, because it is actually kind of useful, at least for me, to pick this up and look at it and see them. I, playing like this is a different matter, and you probably notice I don't even do great play. It actually messes with my eyes when I look down at this and I see all these chairs because I'm used to seeing them on my head, uh, or rather in my head, on the neck, on a, uh, on a regular guitar. So, uh, yes, I think this is great for reference. Uh, I think it's cool because you can look down at it and go, oh, okay, this is where my chords are. Yeah, yeah, that's my chords. And, and they work like this, and, they, and, and I can do all kinds of things like that, and then go back to my, my, my regular guitar and play it that way. So, yeah, I think it's great for reference. No, I, I don't personally think it's good to do with your main guitar that you actually play with all the time. For whatever that's worth. This is Jeb Sherrill with The Chair System, and I guess I will see you guys on the next episode.